Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. A while ago I went magnet fishing with the team from German television and they actually asked me to build a launcher so I can shoot a heavy magnet very far, more far than you can throw it, to uh, try to access a part of the river that nobody had earlier accessed before. <laughs> and we found lots of things. I mean, that happened in Holland, in the Netherlands. And um, we found, of course, lots of bicycles uh, in various conditions. But we also found this. Now, I'm not sure what you think, but I believe this looks pretty much like a slingshot, doesn't it? I mean, there's even a little bit of... I don't know what, what that is. Is, is, that a, is that some kind of a shell or something? Could be. It's very rusted and I want to restore it and see if it's really a slingshot or if it's not a slingshot, if we can make it into a slingshot. Stay tuned. Okay, now this is it. It seems to be very basic. Could it have been a slingshot? And maybe it could also have been like a holder for pretty much anything. But it is steel and it's fairly solid. This seems to be riveted up here and I'm sure we can tighten this a little bit. It's well rounded so it wouldn't be a problem to attach rubber bands to it. But of course first we need to clean it and then I need to attach a handle that makes it comfortable to shoot with this. Okay, most of the rust has now been removed, if not all. It is very solid again because I uh, re-riveted it here. And, um, but now, of course, it is time to attach a nice wooden handle. I have this really old piece of wood. It's completely dry. It's a leftover from a slingshot that I built years ago. And I think it's just the right piece to carve the handle for the slingshot from it.
Okay, now the handle is pretty much finished. We really put in everything that we had to. And as you can see, this fits nicely inside. And it is important to see that this is guided. So, because it's just a rivet and it could turn, but this is now guided by the wood. And now I will glue it in, wait for it to set, and then continue tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Another day! And of course the glue has fully hardened and it is really solid. I mean, this is not gonna come apart even if I attach really strong bands. So now it's time to clean it up. So now the basic sanding is done with 180 grit and it really feels cool now. <laughs> now it's time to put some linseed oil on it and that will bring out the grain just in an amazing fashion. And I'm now pretty much sure that this is beech wood, very typical. Can you see the miracle happening? I love that moment. And now we let it soak and then we need to go higher in the grits so that in the end it will look shiny just like there is oil on it even though there is none. <laughs> okay and that, that is the end result now. For such an old dead piece of wood I think it took on a glorious shine. <laughs> and it's also a very comfortable slingshot. Now we just bend it up and then have some fun with it. So here it is all banded up. As you see, I even put a little bit of extra rubber underneath. I always do this when I use metal frames because otherwise it could happen that the bands suffer from the oxidation. And also, of course, it's an extra cushion that prevents any cutting effect even though I rounded it well. And I actually believe that it's now a really, really stylish slingshot with a lot of character. I'm not sure if this ever was a slingshot. Probably not, but now it is. <laughs> Let's go shoot with it so I can show you its features. So it is all banded up, as you see, ready for action. And today we're going to shoot hex nuts. <laughs> and we're shooting at that dog food can water filled over there. That's a 30 meter distance, quite much for a one band little slingshot. Wish me luck. <laughs> Hit it! <laughs> I'm really happy that I made it and I hope you like it too because that's it for today. Thanks and uh, do we have one more? Uh, ah, almost. <laughs> bye bye.